Oh my god, look at that eagle. Oh my god, look at that dirty window. <laughs> hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, I'm going to show y'all my Rainbow High collection. But first, I want to give y'all a update on my little display here of my OMGs. I hung up some fairy lights. Look at how cute they are. They were too long, so I put the rest in there, but um, it's cute. <laughs> a little spiced up. Now let's get into my Rainbow High doll collection. Are y'all ready? Okay, let's start off at the beginning. So here we have Finn. He is my favorite boy right now. We have Bella here. She is obviously the icon the moment. <laughs> I love her Chanel tweed uh, two-piece. It just looks stunning. And then we have Stella. Stella is really cute. She was never one of my faves, but I can I can respect her. I can, you know, not love her, but still, you know, accept her and she's still cute. The way I'm displaying my dolls right now, my Rainbow High dolls is just like it's around the table. Um, so it's not for it's not forever. I'm definitely trying to figure out new ways I can display them because I really want them to look good. <laughs> we have Daria and I like Daria. She's really cute. I gave her Kaya's earrings. I just feel like that fits her vibe. I kind of mixed her first outfit, the dress she was wearing with the second outfit skirt. I feel like that's so cute. And her shoes, the boots, adorable. You might have noticed that her doll stand looks off. That's because it's actually Finn's. And I just switched his doll stand with hers. So now he has hers and it looks way better on him. And she looks way better with his doll stand. I don't know why they gave her such a pale doll stand and they gave him such a dark colored doll stand but anywho it looks way better this way in my opinion of course then we have ruby ruby's dog i like her she has such beautiful hair and she's still to this date um the only review i made on a series one doll she was the first video i made back back in the like almost a, yeah a year ago so crazy um yeah <laughs> she's really cute we have lily oh lily look at her Look at her, look at her feet. She has a way darker red than Ruby's. I can appreciate that, I love that. Her hair is really cute as well. Um, I like the tinsel, little pops of orange, kind of alluding to tiger stripes, I like it. We have Simone, and Simone and Lily actually share the same face mold, so that's really cool. Simone is stunning, I judged her outfit a little bit. I gave her gold socks that came with Poppy, and I gave her a, <laughs> A little like white choker. I don't know what to call that, but I thought it's like cute. It's like a little handkerchief just like wrapped around her neck. I feel like it gives me like vintage. <laughs> and I also um, kind of just like place the straps much further down on her shoulders. So they will look kind of like a, like, you know, off the shoulder top, which looks way better. I feel like it just gives them more, more je ne sais quoi, you know, a little more spice. Um, I did give her the extra pair of earrings that came with the twins. She's so pretty. We have Poppy, Poppy. She is also really adorable. Um, I switched her outfit around. If you see my first collection video, she was wearing something else. Um, but yeah, I feel like she looks good like this too. I like those strings falling down, the black and white pops of color. Then we have Georgia. Ugh, and Georgia, I gotta move stuff around here. <laughs> Georgia, oh, that doesn't help. She's still very much hidden. Georgia and Gabriella are both in like the, very much like the corner of the rainbow. I like her, I kept her in her pants. Um, I really like her face. I like her hair, her cardigan, so soft. Um, yeah, she's one of my, f well, she's really cute, but she's not one of my faves, shockingly enough, I know. Then we have Harper. This is just kind of how she looks like now. Her sunglasses, her hat just cover her up and her hair is really poofy, but it's manageable. I really like her in these heels. They really look good. They fit her. I gave her the second pair, the Sunny's uh, second outfit jacket here. I feel like it works really well with her color feet. I have one of the devious twins. We have um, Laurel, right? Laurel? It's Laurel. Right? She's the fiery red one. I like her. She's stunning. She's my fave out of the two twins. Yeah, I styled her hair. Her ponytail is giving me life. It is really amazing. I don't know what to say about her. Like, there's no bad things about her. Um, 
the twins were really a great purchase. They are great value. Moving on, we have Marissa. She has a lovely hair and I don't know what, I didn't know what to do with her. What I did here is I wrapped around the um, black uh, ribbon that was attached to her robe. I wrapped it around her arm and it kind of looks like bandages. I don't know, it kind of looks cool, makes her look tough. Um, Cause she was just missing something and I didn't want to give her, I didn't want to put her in her gold robe. I just didn't like how it made her look, the robe, you know? I didn't like the look on her. So I wanted to give her something else instead. But yeah, I chose to put her in her first outfit top and then her pants, her sweatpants, really lovely. And I actually switched. Um, <laughs> this is actually Avery's doll stand. It's a very more pale gold and it fits into the rainbow much more. So I had to switch them around. So yeah, that's why it looks paler. Perhaps that's be it's because it's actually Avery's doll stand. Um, and Avery has, um, there you can see Avery. That that's Marissa's doll stand. It's, it's much more gold. Then we have Cheryl. I put her in her shirt, her button shirt that comes with her second outfit. I put that under her um, two piece here that came with her first outfit. I feel like that looks much more classy, you know, the button up shirt. We have Sunny. I redid her buns. They look good, I think. <laughs> her eye, this one, the left eye right here, um, it was wonky. It's still a little wonky, but it's okay now. I had to press it into her skull. And then I gave her the yellow skirt that came with Avery's playset and I uh, matched it with the gold top from her second outfit. I feel like it looks really cute on her. I left her rainbow socks on and I gave her her second pair of shoes, which I actually had to order additionally on eBay because they were missing from the original order. So love that. We have Karma. I love Karma's hair. I feel like I don't see anyone else displaying her hair like this, like from the front. I don't know why. I like her way better like this. Look at that hair. It's so thick, it's so luscious, it's so soft. She has a glittery lipstick and um, I did give her a the Kitty K cat headband. And then uh, I gave her Gabriella's choker because she was missing something and this makes her look way more full. Then we have Jade and she's not one of my faves. I don't have much to say about her, honestly, but she's cool. You know, I respect her. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot about Margot. Okay, Margot, let's talk about you. I just made a review on Margot here. She is stunning. Yeah, I still like her, but I did remove, um, like on my, on Instagram, I did um, pose her with the socks on her arms, making it look like gloves. I did remove those, and I also left her with no socks here at the bottom as well. Like you maybe saw in the review at the end. So yeah, but she looks so cute like this as well. And like y'all, the hair, the hair curl, like the little hair flip here at the bottom. Look how stunning that is. Look at how, look at that shaping y'all. Hang on, this is not doing it justice. Look at that shape. Look at that, look at that wave, look at that flip. It is stunning. She's beautiful. And girl, like I haven't done anything to her hair. I haven't washed it. I haven't put product in it. This is just her natural curl. I just kind of shaped it at the end. So yeah, she looks stunning. We have Amaya. Let's get her out of the way here since she is in front of everyone else. Um, Maya was not my favorite from series two. She's still not my favorite, but you know, I respect her. Again, she's like, she's like Jade. I don't hate them, but they're definitely not my faves. <laughs> but I do like her outfit here that I gave her. Um, she, I gave her like her second pair of high socks with her second pair of heels because the first pair was a mess. Um, <laughs> these look way better. And then what I did here is I actually just, I think, and I do this with all the skirts. I just hiked it up a little further up. So it looked shorter. Yeah, I feel like she looks really cute. And I, I don't hate it. I don't hate you. Her hair is also not bad. Like it's very frizzy, I guess, but it's really soft. And I just brushed it out. Oh, on her, I accidentally removed some of her blush here. That's why it looks rough. Yeah, it's because I used some of my own uh, makeup to kind of imply some blush, but um, it looked awful. We're gonna leave that part hidden. Daphne and Daphne, she's like just, she's so pretty. Daphne is really just one of the prettiest rainbow high dolls there is. 
Um, her first outfit was everything, so I kept her in it. I was gonna change her into her pants, which is what I like to do with dolls that have pants, is display them in their pants, because I feel like we do have so, so few dolls in Rainbow High that have pants on as their original outfit. But for her, I just, I like her too much without the pants. Like her skirt is just so beautiful. I do think I switched around her top. I Daphne, her hair is super poofy. I don't know why. And I washed it, which is, I don't do that usually. I washed her hair and it's still very poofy, so. Oh well. If you look really closely on her face, her eyebrows are mismatched. <laughs> look at that shape. Yeah, her eyebrows look rough. Um, like once you see it, you can't unsee it. Like one of them is like literally pointing a different direction, but it's okay. I like her, I love her. I, I don't think I noticed it in time. Next up we have, we'll get to Robin in a second. We have Holly. She's not my fave, but she's, again, she's really stunning. And I do like that they have a matched look with the twins. They do look really good together. Look at them. We have Robin and she is like one of my faves, definitely. She is stunning, I love her. Um, originally, I just had her displayed without her robe but i felt like she needed more you know she needed more layering and so i placed it over her shoulders and it kind of just drapes down behind her it looks so stunning i actually did the same thing with marissa where i used her robe the ribbon that was used for her robe and i used it but for her I tied it around her her ponytail look at that it looks so cute doesn't it little pop of white the little bow Ugh, it ties it all together and I absolutely adore her shoes. I did leave her socks on. Then we have a river river here. He is adorable. He's like really cute. I like his style. Um, and I did switch his um, shoes to a second pair. I feel like it just matches more. We get to Gabriella and like I mentioned with Georgia, um, they're both at the corner of the uh, rainbow here with gabriella i pretty much left her untouched but i did add crystals tights on her because i feel like it just gives her something more you know it adds a little bit of edge <laughs> and since she's all about you know being icy and cold um i feel like her wearing tights kind of makes sense i have hallie and hallie is like really cute i love her ponytail i love her face up she has like one of the best face-ups i think her shorts i'm not a fan of because that's all i get from her like i gotta display her in her shorts which i kind of don't like but i just covered it up with uh actually river's second jacket the windbreaker i feel like it matches her i actually used uh daphne's second pair of heels and i also used skylar's second pair of socks on her it kind of ties in all the colors that she has and we have skylar she is so cute um she didn't make a big impression on me at first but she's grown on me i like her i restyled her hair to kind of have this little you know side part her hair is super soft like i'm telling you series one had one best hair quality like ever because even though it was really gel to the nines when you actually brushed it or washed it it had such good quality it's just it hasn't been the same it hasn't been the same then we have a crystal and as you can see i did add um the second pair of holly's earrings on her it looks so good on her i also put um skate park cuties uh silver necklace on her i styled her hair a little bit i like how it came out her headband is so cute and then i just put her in her second outfit i didn't switch her shoes and i also didn't uh switch her top but the jacket and the jeans just look so good and then we have violet and oh girl violet's just not one of my faves but again she's kind of grown on me because i like her hairstyle her eyes look kind of weird i don't know what it is but i feel like do you see the um the line here i feel like it just it's too thick but i guess it makes her look unique i gave her her second outfit dress but her first outfit coat because i love the coat and i gave her a little um shirt here uh beneath it to kind of layer it um and that shirt came with avery's playset and those are her original shoes then we have emmy she's really beautiful i actually just did this like restyled her hair a little bit i feel like it looks really cute doesn't it yeah it adds a lot of like 
volume. Her face is so pretty and her first outfit wasn't too exciting, but once again, I hiked at the skirt so it looked more like indie artwork and her boots, I live for the rainbow high boots even though they might look a little chunky, I don't care. I did add Cheryl's headband on her here, as you can see, to give her something a little more. And her hair is really weird, <laughs> like the shape. It doesn't have a shape per se, which I don't like, but it is really soft. And I feel like she has one of the thicker rootings I have seen of series three, because series three obviously very infamously doesn't have much hair rooting. But she has good rooting, I feel like. And let's move her out of the way to look at Phaedra next. Phaedra, I did a review on her. So you all already know my thoughts, but she definitely is one of the best looking from Pacific Coast. Her pigtails are super soft. I love her color play, her color theme here. And look at her eyes. Oops. They're like glowing. Look how pretty they are. Her outfit. I couldn't do much with her, honestly. I just added River's socks on her because I felt like a little pop of white doesn't harm anyone, but they're big and they look really big on her. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna keep them. But lastly here, at least for the rainbow, we have Brianna and Kaya. And so Brianna first, here she looks absolutely like savage. <laughs> <laughs> she looks stunning. I just, I love her, her face, her outfit, her juicy tracksuit here. Like, are you kidding me? I did actually leave her in her first um, top because I watched Kev Collects. He does a lot of amazing reviews and he did a review on her and he um, mentioned in the video that this top looks way better on her. He's right. It looks so much better. Plus it also adds the little hint of white that her shoes have. I love it, stunning, he's amazing. Uh, by the way, just subscribe to him if you haven't already, he's amazing. I've said amazing like three times, but <laughs> it's the truth. Look at that outfit. I did give her um, sweets, um, she's, she's right there. Hey sweets, say hello. I gave it to Brianna because um, she needed something else here and it does look really good with the earrings. We have Kaya here. She is really cute. She, I feel like maybe not a lot of people like her or know of her, honestly, because she kind of went, she kind of went under the radar as she came out. She didn't, I don't feel like she performed that well, like with sales, um, but definitely a cutie. Look at those shoes. Look at those shorts. Her shorts, are definitely the superior bottom that she comes with. Like she comes with the jeans, uh, the silver jeans and then the shorts. And these shorts with the little gems are definitely the superior piece. Um, and then I just put her, um, this actually, this top, this top actually came with Avery's playset once again, but I wanted to do some layering. So I put it under her cropped top here that's in white. And I feel like that looks really cute. And I love her heels, like I mentioned. I love the little poofy flocked area. It's really nice. Okay, and here's my full rainbow. As you can see, I had to place the twins like on either side of their spectrum. Um, and I also had to put Margo here and uh, Amaya next to them because, well, as you can see, Margo is very pearly white and Amaya has a lot of black. So I feel like they kind of match black, silver, white, gold, you know, so had to put them there also because there's no space here, so. <laughs> like I mentioned, I do want a proper setup for all my dolls here because they look really good here, but I feel like if they had like, if I had like a shelving unit for them to properly be like lined up in, that would look so cute. But for as a time being, um, this is what I'm working with. Just, I love them. I can't wait for series four, even though I'm not sure where I'm gonna put them. But we don't have to worry about that right now. We're not done yet because I do have some more Rainbow High dolls. And here we have the rest of the things. So here's Jet. I did make a review on her. It will be up very soon. And here's Avery. And here's first, uh, wave Amaya, the original Amaya, I guess. Yeah, they're kind of back here because they don't they don't really fit into my rainbow lineup. We have the rack here with all the hangers. <laughs> yep, all of them. And we have the little sewing machine and some extra socks in there. Look at this, look at this. This is so aesthetically pleasing to look at. 
like the gradient from pinks to purple to blue to green to yellow to orange to red look at that gradient oh i love it i love like a lot of i, I know a lot of people don't use their brushes but for me personally it's not about using them it's about just look at that look at that as you can probably tell i'm just crazy over anything rainbow monochromatic kind of gradients just wow i love it obviously we also have jet's uh couture dress here her dress form and like her actual body form here and then the dress is so stunning i love it and even though i'm probably never gonna put this dress on anyone it still just looks so nice not much else but i do also have lily's box because it's just so pretty i can't get rid of it like i don't know why but the tag's missing so that's a shame i do keep all of my rainbow high accessories in this huge box um if you've seen my previous collection video uh you will already have seen like everything i keep in here just like all the you know outfit pieces and um you know as you can see here i also have a ton of the acrylic boxes that came with the twins jen dawson uh, avery styles a ton of those boxes over the time have accumulated here at the bottom which takes up a lot of space so that's why it's getting really full but um i don't have to worry about that right now <laughs> future peach here i did have to move around the dolls to take thumbnails for this video and because of that i did end up rearranging my whole rainbow lineup here in the end so quick little update just here is how it looks like right now from orange yellow green blue purple pink and then red so I feel like this works a little bit better. Um, I feel like I integrated um, Harper and um, Marissa a little bit better. I don't know, I feel like Margot, I don't know where to put her. I put Amaya back there with the twins just because I realized they were like too colorful for me per se. Um, they didn't really fit in. Um, so yeah, I think it looks good. Um, and I cannot wait for series four. I already know where I'm gonna put each of them. <laughs> but enough of me, back to the video. But yeah, that was my Rainbow High collection as of uh, May 2022. So series four hasn't come out yet. Shadow High hasn't come out yet here. And I'm not even sure if I will get Shadow High um, just because for me, Rainbow High is the strongest when we get these monochromatic looks of each doll and each doll kind of brings something new to the rainbow lineup here overall as you can see that's when i'm really into rainbow high but shadow high obviously is all gray so that's why i might get series one just because they're really unique but i'm not sure if i'll get more series after that because it's just, you know, a lot of gray and I'm not really into gray dolls. So <laughs> definitely looking forward to series four. Um, there's a lot of tones that we need still, even after series four, like we need periwinkle. We need like, we need like a true blue um, and like Skylar, she has a ton of different blues. So I feel like she doesn't even really count. And um, Harper, no, Hallie, her blue is much more like a vibrant kind of aquamarine and the actual only blue we have is gabriella her blue is like really like an icy blue obviously so we really need a blue that's kind of in between of hallie and gabriella we need like an in between here because that looks very rough obviously we need more yellows we need more oranges we need we need more reds we need more greens as well um more purples i feel like we did we do need like a transition color for purple and orchid you know as we can see here we need a balance here um and we don't need more pinks we don't need more pinks please mj we have like a ton of pinks already so we really don't need more <laughs> but um yeah definitely more reds oranges yellows greens um and like a true blue um not like a teal blue or cyan cyan blue we need like a really just blue <laughs> oh and you might have noticed i don't have the rockstar girls just because like i mentioned before i love rainbow idols when they're following that monochromatic kind of look and obviously the rockstar girls don't follow that rule they're all over the place they have all over rainbow vibes which is kind of like in the name of their band rainbow uh wait, wait what are they called again rainbow power 
<laughs> I forgot the name of their band, but they're all about rainbow. And so they all have kind of their own rainbow clothing pieces and they all come with gold gold stands, which I'm not a fan of. So that's why as of right now, at least I'm not planning on getting the Rockstar Girls. Um, but maybe in the future I will because they are unique characters and Carmen and Vanessa, ooh girl, especially Carmen, like her face up's beautiful. So Lyric, they done Lyric wrong. <laughs> they, they did Lyric dirty. <laughs> She's a mess. But um, because I am a completionist, I do think sooner or later I will get them but once they're really cheap because right now they're still like 60 bucks each and I'm not paying that amount for all three of them. I'm sorry. I do hope I have a better setup and kind of display for y'all next time I make a collection video. Um, and I do have more collection videos planned. I have Monster High dolls that I wanna make a collection video of. I have a ton of Barbies, um, Novi Stars, Equestria Girls, My Little Pony, Polly Pocket. Um, what else? Not a surprise. I have a ton of those. I can make a video. So yeah, let me know definitely if you would be interested to see a collection video of on any of those doll lines down below. But yeah, you guys, that was the video. I hope y'all enjoyed. Be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you did. Be sure to leave me any thoughts or questions you may have down below. Let me know what you thought of my Rainbow High collection and show me your own Rainbow High collection. Like if you make a video on Instagram or on YouTube or on, um, you know, anywhere, just tag me. And as always, don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when I post more Rainbow High doll news, doll reviews, and episode reaction videos. Stay safe, be kind. I hope this next time. Stay peachy. Kisses.